Hey everyone, my name is Drew and we're here for week number five of the TBL, the Team Battling League. And uh, there are a few things going on here, right? So first of all, you might think, is the season like practically over? Why is this week five? And uh, also, where's Josh, right? Because uh, Josh is obviously my partner in the Team Battling League. So week five was actually up against Steve and Kyle A, their team, the Parahax Brothers. But they unfortunately had to drop, so we got a forfeit win out of that. But uh, we decided just to battle each other. So this is going to be a Civil War type battle where Josh and I are going to be battling each other. I'm going to take over the Kyle and Steve team. And uh, he is going to play as the Texas Education Agency. So we're going to be here battling each other. We're going to do whatever the heck we can do. Uh, this was a really rough matchup. I think we both agreed that the Parahax brothers had a really kind of rough matchup against us. And uh, it was a really awkward build, but I'm going <laughs> to go into this matchup here. I'm really curious to see whatever he built for us. So we do see the Jirachi. Really no surprise there. In the first lot, I'm willing to bet that it was the first Pokemon that he built. Um, Helolisk, Kiram, Rotom Fan, um, Obstagoon, and the Rapidash. So right off the bat, no Shuckle, no Sylveon, no Weezing. Okay, okay, okay. Um, Yeah, very, very interesting. So no... Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I think the biggest takeaway here is that there's really no Gastrodon, too, so no real answer to Dracovish. Uh, if I can get up webs, I think I am pretty darn golden, I think. Uh, Steelix also has a... Oh, no Delmize. No Delmize is really interesting to me. No Delmize is really, really interesting to me. Also, door's pretty open for my Swoobat as well. Uh, so let me think here. Actually, I should take a screenshot of the team but let me think this through a little bit uh i kind of want to lead off with the galvantula i think yeah, it doesn't have a ground type either so i think i have to choose soon i think it's i mean i honestly really just like having a lead u-turner and i think that's going to be best uh, i do have magnet just to kind of power up the volt switches but he doesn't have any immunities to volt switch and it does seem pretty darn free in this situation so i think it feels pretty no drawback, at least at first glance, so I guess we'll just see uh, however that ends up working out here. Uh, but I'm trying to think this through here. Uh, I do want to bring up the calc as well. Uh, let's see. Um, yeah, I think, again, this Dracovish... Oh, okay, so um, the Heliolisk is kind of the Dracovish answer, but uh, if the... If the... Um... There's the Heliolisk. If the uh, webs are up, then it's going to be pretty awkward here. So I th I think I can just pretty freely Volt Switch here. I don't really see a downside. I mean, he can obviously Volt Switch, which would be not ideal. But I can go potentially out into the Steelix, which I think I would be pretty tempted to do. Does go for the, a Substitute here, um, which I didn't expect to see. I really hope that I can break this up. Uh, maybe with the magnet, maybe I can, maybe I can also trick him. Nope. Okay. Okay. So it's going to be, yeah, it's actually going to be pretty bad if he just assumes that, huh? I guess my best play is just to go into this thing. I believe this thing. Okay. I honestly also have to remind myself of the kind of stats that I built. So this is actually max defense and I'm not, I don't even think that I have a really specially defensive beast, but this thing is kind of a special defense beast anyway, so I can just go into this thing, I think. And at least try to start to get things going here. Uh, foul play should break at the very least. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do at all. Yeah. Yeah, foul play should be fine here. Um, yeah, Steelix would have been... Not ideal. Okay, Glare. That's, again, that's really interesting because at the very least, Glare is going to disallow for my Steelix to kind of... Or it's going to disallow me to get poisoned is what I should say. Although I don't think he has many toxic options to begin with. He can kind of do it with the Rotom Fan, I believe, but uh, I don't think that's... I think he would want to build a different Rotom Fan out here. But the thing is... I don't... Hmm. What do you want to do in this situation? I kind of want to pull a double, but this could also just be a really free toxic if I can get it off on the right thing. This could allow in the obstacle, which I really don't want to allow in for free, and so that's a big issue for me. But I don't know how I want I would want to play this. I kind of want to go back into Galvantula pretty aggressively. I 
kind of... Mm, that feels like a solid play to me. I really don't want to allow in the obstacle for free. And I think by going for this foul play... Mm, he, he just, he's in. He can just Volt Switch out, which would be not ideal. But it's, it, I'm, I'm in a really awkward position here. Uh, does go for the Thunderbolt. Uh, it's not going to do a whole heck of a lot. Uh, it is sub lefty, so that's fine, I think, for right now. I kind of just want to get off the sticky webs. And start to get some kind of things going here, right? Although, I can't imagine... I can always just Volt Switch back into the... Back into the... Umbreon, and I can kind of sit in front of this. Yeah, he yeah he expected the the Celix to come in this time a little bit more ag aggressively, but also it, it, Surf might have just done more damage just straight up. But oh, also I, I don't think I'm max speed Calvantula too. Uh, no, I I am definitely max speed. You yeah, know this thing just naturally outspeeds me. Yeah, yeah, by one point. Um, that's fine. I just couldn't remember if I made this thing modest or not. Uh, it has been a little bit since I built this team, but uh, Galvantula, as much as I hate just kind of sticky webs Galvantula sets that are kind of boring, um, I felt moderately necessary in for this matchup. And part of me, really, huh, how would I want to play this? I could kind of bluff Scarf with my Darmanitan here. Although, I, I kind of feel like, mm, I, part of me thinks that I can play this pretty standard with my Umbreon, but at the same time, no, I'm going to try to Bluff Scarf here. I'm just going to try to just Bluff Scarf here. And I really do want to click U-Turn here. But that's going to reveal Life Orb really quickly. But I think I'm going to go for it. I think he has to at least respect Scarf. No, he just goes for the Surf. I mean, Josh is really out here. But I think we... Yeah, okay. We, we, we take one. We take one. What I'm most worried about is kind of not incentivizing the Rotom to want to come in for free. So that um, I can kind of deal with it a little bit better. Uh, let me think this through here. I think this honestly might just be my best play here. I don't want to feel like I'm throwing, and I kind of am throwing right now, but, uh... I guess he can. He just feels like this heal of this can just sit here for pretty much forever. Which is fine, I guess, but... Um... Again, I just really don't want to let this... I mean... At the, at the end of the day, if the, if the Rotom wants to come in, it's definitely not the end of the world. I don't mind too, too much. But it's just not great. And uh, this Umbreon is not doing the best right now. But as long as we can get through this Heliolisk, I think a lot of the team is in a solid position because this Heliolisk, right, it's it's really one of the things that's stopping my Steelix uh, from really doing what I want to do. Um, as well as my Swoobat, right? So my Swoobat uh, can also kind of make things happen here. I should KO. It does KO. So, I guess, yeah, he was just letting his heal list just stay in here for as long as the heal list want to stay in here, which was um, just until it goes down. I am, again, concerned about the Rotom wanting to come in and just, yeah, it's just going to click defog and I'm going to be in a little bit of trouble. But, I can kind of, I can get a Toxic off here. I can try to wish. I can try to make some things happen in that respect. But, it's always going to be not ideal. So, the main takeaway here, right, is that I'm going to have to rely on... And I'm paralyzed. The main takeaway here is that I'm going to have to rely on Steelix to kind of win this match for me. And Steelix is in a great position to win this match for me. But, I need to figure out how to make that happen. Uh, goes for the Volt Switch. So, I'm going to get a Toxic off on something. Uh, as long as it's... Not the Jirachi? I don't think I'm too worried about the Jirachi, in all honesty. Um, but yeah, that was the exact reason why I didn't want to just lead off with the Gavantula. But I really didn't expect this Heliolisk to want to stay in here. Because honestly, this Heliolisk could have just sat in front of me for a very, very long time and just kind of dealt with me. So, I don't know. I don't quite know how to interpret um, all of that. 
but I think this is a free enough wish. I think even if he does want to go for the U-turn, I don't think it's the biggest of deals here. Um, but yeah, I mean, not getting up webs is pretty bad. Or not keeping up webs is pretty bad. But looking back on my Steelix set, I do mm, I do believe in Steelix. I do believe that Steelix can ultimately kind of pull something like this off. It's just not going to be great. Now, this... This, um... This Umbreon is really defensive. It's going to be able to deal a lot of damage. If this thing just wants to um, get behind subs, then I can always wear this thing down, especially with uh, Wish. It, even if I have to play this really silly game. It is special. It goes for the Ancient Power. That's super interesting to me. So this is a potentially Omni-boosting, but it, it I mean, that, that reveals that it's not that strong. I really don't think... It's really meant to be that strong. I mean, Ancient Power could be, I don't know, man, specifically for things like the Darmanitan, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. But as long as I don't get flinched down, which I don't know if you brought a flinch Jirachi to this matchup because of the fact that it's Ancient Power, right? It could it could be some kind of a mix set. Um, it does look like the Ancient Power might just be here strictly for the Darmanitan, but I don't know. I'd be surprised to see a kind of... I guess it could be Heart Stamp. Could that be? I want to no, it is Iron Head, but we should take that like a gosh dang champion. We do. Um, and we do get paralyzed, but again, I'm not the most worried here. I'm not the most worried here. What I guess I am more worried about is letting this thing get out of hand, but I don't think it can, right? So it's already revealed Ancient Power and Iron Head. I don't think it has too many slots to like call mine up to a million it, uh, and sub. That's three slots right there. So as long as I can get one or two iron, uh, um, one or two foul plays off, which immediately is not looking like a really strong proposition here, I think I can kind of manage here a little bit. But obviously, I have to make some things happen. I think now I'm at the point where I kind of have to click wish. And honestly, I'm probably at the point where I, where, I, where I honestly also try to click Heal Bell as well. I'd be surprised if the fourth move on this thing is is Thunder Wave, although it's definite it's a definite possibility. It is a definite possibility, and it's honestly a possibility that I might want to try out. Um, but I think the best way to test that is just by going for the by going for the Heal Bell and getting this off. But this is going to be a bit of a slog. I don't entirely know how we kind of break this. He is trying to get this Omni boost as well, which is boosted up to a 20% chance. Uh, if he does get the yeah, there's there's an Omni boost, but it but it's it's going to cancel each other out because he's going to raise his attack and also raise his defense. So, um, so it's going to be neutral in terms of how much damage I'm going to be able to output with foul play. I just need to not let this thing boost up to a million, which is immediately going to be pretty difficult. Actually, this thing can't even really touch Steelix. I mean, this thing could have like some like Aura Sphere to hit Steelix, maybe? That's a possibility? Either way. Either way. Uh, yeah, this is giving me flashbacks to week one where... Uh, we just kind of had a Gastrodon that kind of just sat in front of half the team. But there's another flinch. Uh, ultimately, I think as long as this as as long as this thing doesn't stay behind a sub, I think I can be moderately okay. But uh, now I'm kind of regretting not bringing my original kind of idea of a of a an Iron Defense Steelix. Uh, and yeah, that is doing a more and more damage, but we're gonna get the foul play off We're gonna hopefully keep this thing from behind from out, out from behind a sub All he needs is really one more flinch, but if I can just hit this thing one more time Then I really kind of like my positioning to some degree. I Just need to figure out how to do this. I Just need to figure out how to do this. I Think I think the course of action 
might just be to go into Dracovish and start clicking crunch. Okay, sorry about that. I legitimately actually uh, ran out of space on my drive, but uh, I think we'll be okay here. Uh, that's going to be a little bit of an awkward cut, but um, yeah, I think ultimately the moral of the story is we kept this thing out from behind a sub and we'll be able to kind of manage this thing a little bit here. I would normally want to go into Subat just immediately, but um, it's obviously not going to be the play right now. Uh, this thing does have Drain Punch. It's, it's only going to be a plus one Drain Punch. I have to Dragon Dance up to like a lot to outspeed a plus one Jirachi. Plus, yeah, I have to, I have to go to like plus four just to do that. So I might be better. Yeah, I think this is going to be the best utility that I get out of the Strakovish. I think it might be fine here if I just uh, spend my Dracovish to kind of try to deal with this thing. Uh, I just hopefully don't get flinched, but uh, Iron Head shouldn't do the most damage, even if it is plus one. But yeah, here we are getting flinched. Uh, yeah. I guess we just see. Crunch looks like it's doing just so much damage. This is Muscle Band Strong Jaw Adamant. As long as we can break through once, I think... Yeah, okay. It is also plus one, but I think we still KO. Yeah, we do KO. Okay. Okay, okay. That's fine. I think that I think that's looking okay now. Doors opened up quite a bit for my Subat and for my Steelix. I think... I think the... The Rotom is going to give my Steelix one of the biggest opportunities to kind of get a Dragon Dance up. But it's never going to look great. Right? In comes the Rapid Ash. So this is definitely more of... I'm definitely going to get burned, right? That's the plan here. Is there anything I can do in return? I can go into... No, there's really nothing that I want to do here. But honestly, as long as I can get some damage off on this thing, then I think it just still opens up the door. It goes for the play rough. Okay. We do take it, and we do get a Ficious Rend off, which I think is just going to... I'd be surprised if it didn't. Yeah, I'd be surprised if it didn't just pick up a KO, and we do pick up a KO on a crit. I don't think that it mattered, although we will have to find out. Actually, I could just find out. Let's just assume that it's a max HP Rapid Ash. Um, honestly, it, it might not have been attack invested either, given how little that did on a play rough. Um. Yeah, no, it, it 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 actually could have been max attack, but yeah, Fisher's rent always KOs, even max HP. Uh, so let's see here. Here, I just, I just click, I just click Fisher's rend, and I try to win with. Goes for the Volt Switch. Okay, that's actually. Worse than I thought. I, I really wanted this thing to stay in. Because if that thing stayed in, then it would have given me an opportunity. Actually, yeah, no. The better play would have been to probably set up with my Subat. But I'm going to not get that opportunity. And it was a huge mistake not to not to be Colberberry on my Subat as well. I'm Cassieberry on it. Uh, so that's pretty unfortunate. But I guess we're going to try to figure something out here. I guess we're going to try to figure something out here. Uh, so let's see, let's see, let's see. What did you bring out? Oh my god, I completely missed. Oh no, it, it was the Kiram. It was definitely the Kiram. I would outspeed the Kiram. Uh, okay, so if it's a Scarfed Kiram. If it's a Scarfed Kiram. Then can Subat manage? Yeah, no, I think we should manage. And yeah, yeah, because if it's if it's scarfed, then I should take Ice Beam fine. And if it's not scarfed, then if it specs, then I should deal with it fine still. So I'm going to go for the Calm Mind. Uh, oh wait, yikes! Okay, I 
definitely looked at the wrong calc here. Oh, you know, Ice Beam destroys me. Okay, I looked at the wrong thing straight up. That's, mm, that's pretty embarrassing. But no. Okay, so uh, this thing is scarfed. This thing is absolutely scarfed. Which does mean that this should be able to uh, stay in here and get up at least one Dragon Dance. Although, just to outspeed, I, I need at least three Dragon Dances. No, I need four. I need to be at plus four. So, here, here, here we are. We're going to go for it. We're going to try it. Um, I don't think we end up winning this. Uh, especially, I think this Kiram can just beat me at this point. But, if we can get to plus two, then we might deal... I think he's trying to burn me. But, I can't worry about that right now. Uh, I, I am Lumberry specifically for the situation. And, I think I have to just be okay with being burned. And, if I'm at plus two speed, then I think I deal with any speed obstagoon. Which means all I have to do is take one hit, one single hit from the Kiram. And... I think I can win this match. Right? I do have to check up on this, but I think I beat I can outspeed any Obstagoon at plus two. I think I built this specifically to do that. Um Why do I keep doing that? If this thing is jolly. If this thing is jolly. Yeah, no, I outspeed I, I I'm at plus two, right? Okay, so right now. I have to just head smash here. I have to just head smash. Alright, I don't have any other option. Here we go. Here we go. We... Mm, okay. Well, now... Now I'm at the point where... Now I'm at the point where I think I just have to get to plus... To plus four. I have to at least try to get to plus four now, right? Because if, if I can get to, get to plus four, then I, then I hit an Iron Head onto the Kiram, and I win that way. But, yeah, that, that's just bad. M missing that Head Smash is just bad. Although, yeah, I don't know what this thing would want to do. If he goes into the Kiram now, then he wins. He just beats me 100%. If I can keep this thing in for one more turn... Well, not even necessarily, right? Because... It's still down to, to that same situation where I have to take one hit from the Kiram. And I could be going for Head Smash, so he can't really switch into, into a hit from Kiram right now. He can't even really switch into a hit from Kiram. Although being burned is going to really hurt my... It's going to really hurt a lot. I am at plus... I'm going to be a plus three and burned. So, let's see. Does withdraw. As I do get to plus three, he's going to bring in this thing but I don't think I have to care about this right now because as long as I get to plus four then I can body press on the next turn and then I can iron head the Kiram and I think that's my path right because if this thing is timid scarf if this thing is timid scarf actually what if this thing is scarfed scarfed obstagoon Oh, I wait, no. Do I not even outspeed a plus four? I do outspeed a plus four. Okay. What about Obstagoon? If Obstagoon is Scarfed... But if it's Choice Scarfed... Yeah, I have to get to plus four anyway. But if this thing is Choice Scarfed... Yeah, this thing is definitely Scarfed. Okay. So here's the thing, he, he lowered his own defenses, I can go for a body slam, or a, a body press, but I don't think I do enough damage, I think this obstacle is still bulky enough, it is at minus one defense, it is at minus one defense, it looks like body press is a roll, it looks like body press is a roll, but if I do get this roll, then I think I just win because... Um, I can... He switches out. Interesting. I should outspeed his entire team right now. 
I should outspeed his entire team right now. So the only thing that I think that can stop me is... Um... Missing head smashes. Like, consistently just missing head smashes. Oh, actually, I don't even take head smash recoil anymore. Yeah, I think I, I think all he has to play for is me taking head smash recoil. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's how he wins. But actually, this should also... This should also... Yeah, no, that's bad. That's just bad. Yeah, no, he... He definitely outplayed me because I had to click Head Smash. If I had clicked... If I had clicked Iron Head, then... I think... But yeah, no, I had to make a hard read there. I had to make a very hard read there. Because... By... By going for the Iron Head... I... Um... I could have KO'd this Obstagoon... Yeah, no, it, it was going to be rough no matter what happened. I, I I took too much damage. I was at too low HP. And uh, that's going to be how this week ends. I really did try. Um, there, there are a few things that just didn't go my way. Uh, that still is just missing head smash. I think could have been the difference maker in this matchup. Right, so if I'm not burned, if I'm not burned, and I'm just at plus two, which I believe I was at the moment of getting into that moment with Rotom Fan... Uh, then, then, uh, t -t -t -t. then yeah, it, it looks like Head Smash always KOs, but then I'm still in, in, in a position where I have to take a hit from a Scarfed Kiram, which is always going to be dubious. It's always going to be dubious. If it did have, uh, Earth Power, then I think I take too much recoil from the Head Smash, yeah, to ever really make that a play worth making, so... That's going to be how the week ends. Um, a few things could have gone differently. A, a few things uh, could have gone my way. But I had to work with a team that uh, was really out there. I built uh, in a way that I thought was fine. And I built a little bit for memes. right? So I did get Iron Head Flinch more than is was optimal for me. Ultimately, I took way too much damage with that heal list, Which is kind of just how I play. I play uh, a little bit too conservatively. And uh, I tend to get burned for it. I, I, I have been in these past few weeks. But... Uh, that's it. That's gonna be for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be back really, really soon with the final week of the TBL as well as the TBL playoffs, which we will take part in, and then uh, plenty more stuff coming in the post DLC era. But with that, once again, thank you guys so much for watching. Gonna be once again out.